someone had a really great question in the email inbox. And this is very common in the manifestation world. There's a lot of fear mongering around this. So I just want to set the record straight. Okay. You ready for this? If I was to manifest a million dollars or or whatever amount, would it be possible that I manifest something bad? Example, parents dying and me inheriting money. Who has a fear of this? Like, what if I manifest, you know, X, Y, Z amount of money and then, oh my God, it comes through like something really scary or bad happening. Let's fucking set the record straight, shall we? Number one, this is really fueled by the phrase that we hear in the manifestation industry of be careful what you manifest, be careful what you wish for. What the, what the fuck? Why do we need to be careful? (laughs) You know what I mean? Like, I hate that so much. (laughs) Fuck that. Why do we need to be careful? Like what? No. Okay. So first of all, let's, let's delete that phrase. Okay. I never use that phrase. Number two, I think intention is everything and the right intention is going to protect you. So I teach you and I will teach you right now so you can use this instantly if this is your worry. I can teach you a way of intending things that is going to protect you and is going to protect the other people around you, aka I intend on XYZ amount of money. I intend on this or something better and I intend on this for the highest good of all involved. Meaning the way that it manifests is going to serve me and the collective at large. So this is how I like to manifest because I want what's in alignment for me to also create alignment for other people. And I think that that's how we all manifest. I talk about this all the time with my friends and my coaches and and the people that are close to me. I say, you know, and this is what I believe. It's like, I intend on something and my intention is heard by someone on the other side of the world who invents that thing for me to purchase or for me to learn from. Also, when you have an idea to create something, that is someone else's intention that you unconsciously picked up on and you're going to create it and you're going to share it with the world. And that person whose intention it was literally manifested it through you. It's like, we're all working together. What is for the highest good of me is for the highest good of you. What is for the highest good of you is for the highest good of me. Like we're all co-creating this beautiful world with each other. Now, none of my manifestations have come from anything bad happening. And I think it's because I intend on things in this way. But also let me tell you that if you do have a situation where you do intend on XYZ amount of money and then someone does die and you inherit that money. I want to make it crystal clear because I work with a shaman, a very, very powerful shaman. And so I have a lot of insight and intel into this like very esoteric side of things that I don't share that much, not as much as I know. And it's not because I'm afraid of what people think. It has nothing to do with that. The reason why I don't go so deep into that stuff is because my shaman taught me that there's also such a thing as the world isn't ready for certain information. And it's not the world. It's like people. When people hear something that blows their sockets out, like it's just so mind blowing. They don't even know how to process it or comprehend it. Is that actually useful for them to know? Like, does that actually help them? And so I'm always thinking of what can I share with the world that will actually be useful for them? And then I will reveal certain esoteric or very like woo-woo spiritual information that I think will actually be helpful to you. But I'm not just going to go off the deep end and be like, so I um, channeled this alien species the other day. And this is what they said about the year 2045. Like (laughs) that can absolutely happen, right? but it's just not useful to you right now. And so that's what also I take in consideration. So let me just share this information. So if someone dies at the same time that you intend on manifesting something, you did not cause that death because you are not powerful enough to manifest someone's death. You are not powerful enough to mentally cause someone's death. Death and birth is very unique to manifestation. And it's not a human created manifestation. 
it is on the soul level, meaning that, you know, the struggle for a lot of people with intending on a certain soul to come into the world, like through infertility, like through um, infertility or fertility, just through birthing a child into the world. What I like to remind people is that there's a soul contract, not just between you and your partner making the baby, but there's actually a soul contract with the baby as well. And it's up to the baby to really decide the certain soul of when and how they're going to incarnate. So maybe this soul wants to incarnate through adoption in your life. Maybe this soul wants to incarnate through IVF. Maybe this soul wants to incarnate through you um, having a, you know, a drunk night out, a one night stand, or maybe it's a, this soul wants to incarnate through having like a mom and dad that have been together for five years or whatever. Like we are not to decide that. And we get very in like this control mode of like, it has to happen this way or else. But the thing is, is that Remember, you have to respect the third soul or if it's twins, you know, the, the or triplets, like the other two or three souls. There's a contract between all of you for a certain time, a certain way, a certain incarnation. And it's the same thing with death. So it's determined by the soul contract before incarnation. So before incarnation, you know exactly when you're going to die, how you're going to die and all these things. And it's not because someone manifested it for you. Okay. Like Joe Schmo over here is not going to cause my death. 